I start out with the first three bass notes of a G chord. So that's a G triad. And where the triad comes from is think of the first five notes of a major scale. It's the first note, the third note, and the fifth note. The one, the three, and the five. And a minor one, if you want to think about this real quick, is a one, a flat three, and a five. And there's different ways of doing that, you know, there's all different shapes and stuff. So what we're doing is, see now this third note here, this the five of that one, three, five, is also the open D string. That's the same note. So when we go three, two, open, that is a G triad right there. So this is a movable shape, just these three notes. You can move it up here, four, three, one. That's gonna be G sharp. Five, four, two would be A. Up here to six, five, three. That's A sharp or B flat. And then here we have a B and a C and so on. So that was our shape right there. Now we're gonna get down into this next one, C. And this is the one, three, and five of the C chord. That's also a movable shape. See, I'm on the fifth string here, four, three, and one. That's a C sharp. That's a D. D sharp or E flat. E, F, F sharp, and etc. So we have these different shapes. We got that little G triad that's a movable thing. And we have the C, it becomes a movable thing. So here's the F. We have three, two, and one from that F chord. Now, if you don't want to play that whole F, you find it difficult to bar that thing down there. You can just play the three, the two, and the one, and try not to play anything else. Try to mute the other strings you're not doing. And one way to mute is like taking that first finger and just be touching that string there, you know? Like you're just, you're leaning on it. You're, you're playing this note. You're not taking away from playing that note, but you can be touching that string and it kind of, kind of rolling it over and muting that string that you don't want to hear. Also, when I play that, if I'm playing, you know, with my fingers on, I might even touch that string with that finger I'm not using to strum with. So anyway, we got this three, two, one for an F. This becomes a movable shape too. So we got F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, right? Okay, then next we're gonna look at the B flat. Now B flat would be that chord, full chord, right? But we have three, three, and one. So even though B flat is a really difficult chord, you could just play the three, three, and one on the bottom strings, and you're playing a B flat chord and you're playing a B chord, and a C chord, and a C sharp chord, and all those different chords you want. So if some of these ones on top with those bass notes are trouble for you, you also have these bottom ones here to deal with. So that's B flat, B, like I said, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Look at this E right here. See how it's those notes down here? And we'll play an E like this a lot of times, like a bar chord with muting that bottom string just because it's hard to get that shape and fit all those things in there and still get that seventh fret down here. So that's a way to go nine, nine, and seven. That's a way to get the higher in sounding inversion of that chord. We have G, three, two, open. We have C, three, two, open. F, three, two, one, and B flat, three, three, one. So one more time, we got G, G sharp, A, etc. We got C, C sharp, D, we got F, F sharp, G, and we have B flat, B, C. So then we can go on to the minor first inversion. Three, one, open, because that's like if we had one, three, five, we have to flat the three to get a minor third or a flat third. So we're gonna have three, one, open, and that becomes a movable minor shape. Four, two, one, five, three, two, six, four, three, All right? So we have G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, and on and on. Now let's look at the C one. It's three, one, zero. Three on the C note in the fifth string. Three, one, open. We're gonna take that same shape. Four, two, one. That's C sharp minor. D minor, D sharp minor, E minor. Okay, then we're going to come down here to the F. Now, instead of F major, we have F minor. So, 3, 1, 1. So, that's our F right there. F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor. Okay, and if we look at this B flat down here, 
We could also do the three, two, one on that one and make a B flat minor on that. B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor. Okay, so we got our minors. That was that one. That was the G minor. Here's the C minor. We got the F minor. We got the B flat minor. And those go all the way up the neck and give you all of the different chords that you might need. Just think about this little shape right here, these bottom three. You can get all the minor chords just right there. You don't have to do bar chords or anything like that. You can play all the minor chords just with something simple like that. Now if you wanted to add an extra string to that, like a lot of people, you, you know, B minor like this. So you can add extra little strings to it when you're ready, but if you're not ready, you know, use a little shape like that. So once again, like this is a B minor. This, if I put this in here, 442, B major. So then moving on, we're gonna look at the major triad, but the second inversion. So we're gonna talk about starting on the next note of that triad and doing its other note. So that'd be two, open, open. And we can move that up just like this. So that was G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. Okay, and then we can do also the C, we can do the same thing. We're gonna do this, and this is where we get to that shape. Two open and one right here, that's that start me up. That's where that little shape right there, seven, five, and six, comes from this two open one as part of a C chord. So this is gonna be our new second inversion for C. Two open one, and then we got three, one, two, that's C sharp. Four, two, three, that's a D. D sharp. E, F, and so on. Now we can come on down to the F chord here. Let's look at, we started on three, two, one, so we're gonna do two, one, one here. So F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. Okay, so we got all those different kinds of things. Let's look at then the second inversion for the minors. So that'd be one, open, open, be G minor. Be G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, C minor. So let's look at the second inversion of the C minor. So this is going to be one open one. So this is C, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor. See, this would be a tough chord to get if you try to get that D bass right there. That's kind of a difficult one. But if you just had to play that little three note part, it's pretty easy, right? D minor, D sharp minor, E minor, F minor. So then we're gonna come down, we're gonna look at the F minor. But we're gonna look at its next inversion. So that'd be one, one, one. That's a pretty easy one. So there's F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, 